Hey everyone, this is Louis 7 and I want to share some recent news for the Legendary server and the Lord of the Rings Online, and then the first uh, idea of this video is to actually talk about some of my plans for this server. And the gameplay will be on my lore master, which will become more relevant later on, but first, there is some recent news that I just wanted to round up and share with y'all at the beginning of this video. So the server still doesn't have a name, but it will launch on Tuesday, November 6th, which is just a little over a week from now. So a couple other things that I've seen includes that Forishal and Evendim will both be available on launch and the only reason I mention this is because if I remember correctly those were added after the initial Shadows of Angmar launch like in an update maybe before Moria or I don't think after but yeah if that is not the case that can just be disregarded but that's how I thought it was and then the next thing is Belfalus housing will be available on launch as well. And then skirmishes weren't added until Mirkwood again, if I remember correctly that's when they were added in Not Moria, but anyway, those also won't be available at launch and personally that does make me a bit sad because I just love skirmishes and I think they are underutilized, but it makes sense at the same time because they weren't really released with Shadows of Angmar during the release of Lotro. So Another thing I've seen a lot of people talk about are the stat caps and virtue caps. So the stat caps are the same as live, and the virtue caps are still being worked on. And I personally don't have much strong opinions about either of these besides just not liking the whole virtue system in general in its current state. But uh, SSG, I think Cordovan specifically said overall balance will be the same. And then another thing I thought was interesting is there's no gating of cosmetics, so to me that sounds like you could use, say, a Dol Goldor uh, cosmetic set from Merkwood or just similar things like that from the Skirmish Camp vendor. thought that was a little bit interesting, but might be too hard to not allow that, really. Uh, so that's just to get you all caught up on some things that have been going around from Standing So Games again regarding the Legendary servers. So for the next half of the video, I want to go more into my plans for the server and what I will be doing. So to start off, I want to do some form of a Let's Play style series and at the same time, I am looking to start a new Let's Play series in the live servers, and that's like all live stream is the plan for that. And that's just to give me something consistent to hold on to doing. And the plan was to do that as a runekeeper, and right now my plans are still to tentatively keep that the same as they are. And the reason I haven't started it yet is actually because it just takes a lot of work to get set up, and I haven't done that, and I've lately been more focused on update 23 and now this new legendary server so starting that just got pushed back so it might be a bit before i get to that but anyway after having a few different ideas go around in my head for what i could do for a let's play style series on the legendary server i decided it would be best to do a live stream let's play style series for the server so at first i thought about just doing a regular style let's play like louis did in the warden and then i got to thinking how slow that was progress and it would basically end up being the same as playing one on the normal server, and I already have a Let's Play series on Louisdin on the normal servers that are currently live. And that's just because how slow it takes to get through doing content. So, for example, I think Louisdin's well over a year now, um, a year old now that I started that, and anyway, he still isn't level 40 yet. So yeah, that's what basically the big reason I decided a live stream series would be best. It also allows me to interact with viewers, and I like doing that. Uh, so the next decision I had to make was on what class, and I actually haven't fully decided yet, but I have narrowed it down to two, I'm pretty sure. So I'm leaning right now towards Lore Master, but the Bjorning is still an option. And the Lore Master, which the gameplay here is on, is the first class I actually played in Lotro, and that might be a surprise to some of y'all. But anyway, to be honest, uh, the Lore Master is part of the reason I did not like Lotro the first time I played with it. I really think I just didn't like the class that much back then, even though it's one I just wanted to try and stick with. But anyway, I do love the class now, and... As an option for the live Let's Play, I think it's a great one, and again, the other option I have is the Bjorning, which is a really fun and actually quite strong class at low level, so that's another possible option, and that leads me to my question for you all, the viewers. So, 
Which clash would you prefer of those two, or even possibly another one? So I made a poll on Twitter and YouTube asking the same question, and I put like Loremaster, Bjorning, Guardian, and Minstrel. And Loremaster and Bjorning are way at the top, way ahead of Guardian and Minstrel, and the Loremaster is very slightly ahead of the Bjorning. And I'm also going to try to add a poll to this video. I have to see how that works with YouTube, so it may pop up at some point and I will see the results of that. I don't know if you all will be able to see results from that. I think you should, but again, I will also read the comments, which are usually for more dedicated viewers, and I also get to see the reasoning with those if you all comment that. Anyway, that's kind of my plans where I'm at with like a Let's Play or just live stream series. Otherwise, I'll do like more uh, general live streams of other stuff I do, which is what I'm about to talk to. So aside from the whole YouTube side of things, I do plan to casually level a few characters, uh, mainly taking advantage of the fact that it's a fresh start server. And I will likely level some with a friend as well, again more casually, and I plan to run tons of instances like Great Burrow, Anuminos, Fornost, and at higher levels the Angmar instances. I'm probably forgetting a few, but those are just some that I think of that are low level, but just all those sorts of things. So you might see an occasional video from me of just running through those or a live stream of something like that trying to get through them. That's all I have for this video. I just wanted to share some of my plans for the legendary server and give you all an update on what's been going on as far as news surrounding the server. And I hope you all enjoyed hearing about my plans and then as well as maybe learning something about the update. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more, and thanks for watching everyone.